um, you know, if you look at the 16,000 that have been created since Bitcoin. So my question is, uh, when you're talking to policymakers, uh, how do you explain the difference between what's a legitimate digital asset project and what's a scam? I can offer a perspective on that. So I think it's important to decouple cryptocurrency as an asset class with the technology that underlines the cryptocurrency, which is the blockchain. And if you focus on projects that leverage the technology, which I think a lot of financial services firms are doing, because even though in financial services it seems like things are getting simple and easy, that's just at the veneer or the front end of the technology. But the back end technology has been around sometimes from the 60s and 70s. So in creating legitimacy in what projects are you know, still protecting retail investor interests, et cetera, you can prove that the technology has real life use cases. So. At WorldPay, for example, we offer settlement to merchants in a number of different currencies, and we launched the ability for merchants to receive settled funds in a stablecoin, particularly USDC in partnership with Circle. And that allows merchants to receive funds sometimes instant instantly. And today, if you receive settled funds in fiat, there's a delay in the timing that you get your your fiat. So it could be one day, two days, three days, whatever it is, there's been a historical challenge for merchants to receive same day settled funds. And that creates really stringent working capital um, challenges for those businesses, especially an, uh, SMEs, not necessarily enterprises. But if we can move money around the world instantly and a lot cheaper than we do today, I think that there's real value in that use case. And from a payment perspective, using stable coins for cross border payments um, is is revolutionary for our industry because today those those funds are very slow to move they're very cumbersome and expensive for the merchant to receive so i think when you're speaking to a regulator there should be leeway for use cases that revolutionize the way money moves around the world because we do have a currency now that's native to the internet and we need to regulate that appropriately so that you can offer these solutions at scale and globally as well i mean it, it opens up And from a payment perspective, using stable coins for cross-border payments um, is, is revolutionary for our industry because today those, those funds are very slow to move. They're very cumbersome and expensive for the merchant to receive. Hey, uh, just was wondering, is this uh, an out-of-season April Fool's joke? <laughs>